Hello, this is Ian Scales, reporting for Telecom TV, just to the south of Paris. I've come here to talk to Alcatel Lucent about its LTE connected car, which is parked in the building behind me. Alcatel Lucent hopes it's an indication of the sort of car we'll be driving and the sort of in-car services companies will be delivering in three or four years' time. In fact, they tell me it's like an iPhone on wheels. I asked Derek Kuhn, the driving force behind the NG Connect program, to give me an in-car demo. What's different about this project versus other projects is that uh, we have partnered with uh, QNX software systems that is very established in the automotive market already in real-time operating systems that are ex in existing cars uh, as we speak. Um, the, the implementation that has been done uh, allows for many different companies to be involved in how the evolution of the connected vehicle will take place. Um, the baseline, uh, you know, from, from QNX, Alcatel Lucent from its applications side has been able to actually build certain things that we already create for the telecom environment and put those into the car, as well as partners like Atlantic Records and uh, Pandora and Chumbi and Kabillion, which is a children's programming company. So by actually taking these individual industry uh, folks, whether they're from the consumer electronics, the media entertainment side, um, and actually combining that all within this vehicle platform, it gives us an opportunity to create that dialogue within the industry. And it's been viewed by automakers throughout the world, and pretty much every major automaker has spent time now looking at this and uh, trying to understand how it affects their uh, process going forward. That's part of the dialogue that then we're able to bring back to the operator community um, and each of the individual partners involved in the car to adjust how we move things forward ourselves, both from a technology perspective as well from a marketing perspective and a billing and back end perspective. I asked Sebastian Marinine Me from Alcatel Lucent's partner QNX why the proprietary operating system. If you look at the automotive cycles, when you buy a car, it is deployed for five to ten years, and there's a high expectation of reliability from consumers. So you need a very reliable operating system that will run the electronics in your car. So what we've done is we've taken QNX, which is our traditional real-time operating system, highly reliable platform. We've added on top of that different application environments, enabling you to deploy applications that are written in Flash, um, HTML5, Android, and so on, so that you have the ability to bring these iPhone-like applications in the car but retain a highly reliable platform. I can see why children would love this type of thing, but what do the motor manufacturers hope to get out of it? They see the amount of developers and the de that whole developer community building applications that are relevant not only just for a mobile device, um, but for, for many other different connected devices. So sometimes, you know, we talk about this as, you know, a very large smartphone on wheels, an application environment that can draw from the cloud, from the network, uh, and really create a unique experience for the driver and the passengers. This is Ian Scales in Belize, signing off for Telecom TV News Desk.